quite a few of you mentioned that single shot rifles and single shot shotguns were a big part of your early hunting days and then a lot of you went on to buy falling block single shots as they became available from companies like Ruger, the Ruger number one and uh, as you know I like single shots so I, I went into the vault and um, a fellow action actually I was talking, chatting with him on the phone and uh, he knew Frank de Haas who wrote this book which I read um, years ago and probably some of you are familiar with it it's kind of a good review of single shot rifles and uh, uh, he co-developed a single shot rifle with a fellow with the last name Miller and this rifle here is a Dakota Miller now I I asked the fellows at Dakota um, why they refer to it as a Miller and they said <laughs> we don't know uh, which is a good answer so anyhow this rifle is identical to the rifle described in this book by Frank de Haas which um, seems like he developed with with Miller anyway who knows how it came to pass that this rifle is here or this action is here but it is um, I picked this up from Dakota like I said I think they still produce them and I have to say this is an entirely different falling block design uh, this is a Hagen you can probably tell from the profile right away you can see that this is not um, an overly short action it's fairly long uh, there were others there were other historical actions that were longer uh, similar to this um, de Haas Miller action or we could maybe just call it a Dakota for now uh, it's not marked on the barrel they don't say Miller they say Dakota and that's the manufacturer this is in 223 anyhow fairly long action and the main reason I brought it out is it's exceptionally accurate it has um, one of the fastest lock times of any rifle I own I don't have a device to measure lock time anymore but I did it one time and you can tell if you shoot a lot or maybe even if you don't shoot a lot you can tell that the uh, the time from when you pull the trigger uh, to the to the firing pin hitting the primer um, is either shorter or longer some guns you kind of pull the trigger and and wait because uh, the arc of the hammer fall or whatever the mechanism is takes time the Hagen is not an overly fast action because there's a great big hammer in here which you can't see uh, but when you pull the trigger that hammer has to travel in an arc and hit a firing pin which is roughly in here you can probably picture this uh, in the case of the of the Dakota this is a striker and theoretically strikers are probably better than hammers so you have a firing pin that's in this case not back here it's in the block that's why the block is fairly long so when you lower the lever which is almost effortless um, you've now cocked a striker inside the block and this will be tricky to, to hear this this uh, rifle when you fire it has the coolest sound um, I'll move it toward the camera you'll you'll hear the spring of the striker it kind of sounds like a tuning fork anyway this thing fires so quick um, and people ask me to describe how a striker operates and it always reminds me of a snake bite it is so sudden and so quick and of course with falling blocks but actually with all center fire rifles you want that primer hit and you want it indented hard and quick and then you of course have to make sure that the firing pin doesn't get stuck in the primer so there are retraction devices in, in these and all firearms um, the problem with the falling block of course is if the firing pin for some reason stayed in the primer even for a second when you lower the block you're going to shear off your firing pin uh, at least the tip of it anyway so it's um, this is very positive in every way everything's steel and walnut as I said exceptional lock time excellent trigger and an altogether unique um, uh, single shot rifle uh, nothing else like it on the market 
So, very short video, but those of you who asked me to review or at least show you the Miller, um, here it is. And actually, I found a marking finally. It says Dakota Arms, Sturgis, South Dakota. And you probably know Dakota makes excellent bolt actions. I think I had a couple of Model 76s, but quite unique and certainly worth, um, worth owning. And that's, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.